Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We've random Judas, and this is a terrible character to be taking every item without any consideration for my own life. However, I said I would probably do it, so probably I shall. So we've got uh, 1.35 damage multiplier and the ability to choose when to gain two damage for the duration of the room. The item also passively, and it's Judas, or Judas, uh, the Book of Belial, also passively increases my double room chance by freaking 12.5%, which is useful. That was pretty dumb damage, by the way. But no worries, I'll just actually dodge now. You can just kind of casually roll on through that room pretty slowly. I don't have enough bombs to get all the way over there. Alright, I do have enough bombs to get all the way over to that tinted rock. That takes one bomb to get. Pretty good. Bunch of money, sure. We spawned with three cents as well. There's Judas. Two keys, it's almost worth going to that shop. There we go. Still almost. Not quite, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now it's fine. Oh, that one poor dude that didn't spawn is a mullaboom. What a poor guy. Sad existence he must be living. Oh, luck up right away. Oh, look at that. Fool teleports me to the spawn room, which I'll almost certainly use on this floor just to get back over there quickly and easily. Ooh, you almost hit me too, Larry Jr. But I saw through your trickery and killed one of your segments right then and right there. I totally had that planned out all the way in advance. I'm just metal like that. Alright. Good item. Tears up, shots beat up like it says. Use that and go find the item room. Why did it put me there? Weird game. I would, but I don't have the health for that. Oh, that's excellent. Opens up both secret rooms and all of their doors otherwise. So I get to go there because it turns out that the secret room is next to the curse room. Beautiful. Good life. I got nothing that I want out of this dude, unfortunately. Normally I would if I had more health, but I just don't. We did end up with enough money to go to the shop though, and that means I have to buy something because I have enough for an item. So, see what we got. I'll still pick my item if there are two. I think I'll pick this because then I get to keep my use item. This makes it so that all card drops, or all pill drops are cards now, and I can hold two cards. And it drops a card, which turned out not to be very useful this time. But that's okay. Alright, so we spawned next to the secret room where we get a pretty bad familiar drops a coin every couple rooms when it feels like it. And I would like both of these items, so I will shamelessly bomb my way to victory here. Wow, the good luck too. Almost flawless. So for now I'll settle for spider mod when I get one more cent in like two seconds, then I will, you know, get the other thing. So spider mod gives enemies health bars and has damage numbers pop up when I hit stuff. Those damage numbers are without decimal points, so they're basically just multiplied by 10. Cool. They're kind of freaking three flies, three spiders. All good. Nice. Mongo baby. And now I have enough to get the BFFs. Mongo baby shoots tears from my other familiars, or in this case, since I have no other familiars that shoot tears, shoots its own, at a pretty high rate for a familiar. And then I just doubled his damage. So he's doing like as much damage as I am pretty much, or more. Quality pickup. Yeah, he's doing 14 damage. He's doing way more than I am. Well, that's pretty wild. He does seven damage. I think he's more damage when he doesn't have any stolen tears, but I could be wrong about that. 
I can go in here. But I'm not gonna mess with that, honestly. That's not enough for the risk that I'd be accepting. Too bad I had to get the coin uh, freaking bag. I hope I had a half heart still, or a half soul heart still. I might have. Oh yeah, I totally did. Well, that's uh, not good. I should be dead right about now, but that's okay. Removes floor curse, gives me a soul heart. So I just lost devil room chance, unfortunately. Perthro is good. Get rid of that, because I don't care. Invincibility, but I'll take the double Perthro. And then I, I will totally... Mm, I'll only reroll an item if it's like, you know, pretty neutral in its quality. I won't reroll the really bad or the really good, which I probably wouldn't reroll anyway. All right, that's nice. One damage up. If I get something that modifies my tiers after picking it up, 0.2 tiers up. If I get something that modifies my speed after, 0.2 speed down. So that's 0.3 speed up, so I got 0.1 speed up, which is cool. There's no way for me to take both of these and live. Actually, yes, there is, what am I talking about? Take that, which gives me flight and spectral tiers, and I take that, which gives me 0.5 damage up, 0.7 tiers up, and two soul hearts. So now I'm just gonna leave, because I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right, we good. All right, well, I didn't want to go there anyway, gosh. Jerk. Jerk. I can try that again. That's quite unfortunate. And now it was worth it. And I didn't take damage either way which makes it totally fine. So soul heart profit is the kind of profit that I need. Epic fetus. Okay, I lied. I had this last run. It made everything way too easy and boring, so I'll reroll that. That's the really good, which is the makes the run less interesting. And instead I got 0.3 damage up, like point something speed down. Oops. And a uh, bit of a range up. Something else. I'm gonna reroll that. It's useless. I'm not including use items in this because that's just like dumb. Get out of jail free card, which is a one-time dad's key. Opens all doors. Okay, if I could shoot these, that'd be great. What's my other card? Devil. Sweet. 0.5 damage up and a 1.5 damage multiplier, so now I should be doing more damage than my familiar again. Which is good. And one damage up. So that's pretty solid luck. Did I find the item room already? I did. Yeah, 15.8, look at that. Caught up. I'll just use the devil because I don't really need it. It doesn't stack with the Book of Belial, by the way, so I only have any reason to use one of the two, not both. Right, it gives me four red hearts and four soul hearts up. Pretty good. And away I go. Friends, Curse Darkness doesn't make too much of a difference. Keys are nice, though. Keys are very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Card against humanity, oh boy. Spawns poop on every available tile. In a room. 
So that's cool. It's just what I need in my life. Maybe I should say it's just like real life. Poop on every available tile. Sometimes these things happen, you know? Abel mirrors my position in a room and shoots in the opposite direction. Well, actually, no, it doesn't shoot in the opposite direction anymore. It always shoots towards me. Forgot about that change for a second. Uh, the Papa Fly follows my movements on a three second delay, and when it's no, uh, near enough to something, it shoots at it. More options. Item rooms will have two items, so I get to select one, the other will disappear. Uh, this shows me both secret room locations on every floor. I doubled my keys again. Okay. Sure. Didn't really matter. I'm gonna keep it. Oh. Alright, well that is a sticky nickel. I have to bomb it to pick it up. No real reason to do that. So this way I was hoping this would have a door. I am way too strong right about now. So now I know both secret rooms, that means I don't have to do any guesswork. Unless I have Curse of the Lost. Oh, I thought I'd still be invincible so I didn't dodge that. Whoops. I was mistaken. However, is not important. Okay, I've been to the item room, so we're good to go after this room. Don't need all these red hearts, don't have a dark bomb. What's the other thing I have? Card against humanity, that's right. I'm waiting for an empty quad room. Range up, not a big deal. Head of Krampus, maybe, or Lump of Coal if we're lucky, and we are. Increases the size and damage of my tiers based on the distance they've traveled. And let's get out of here. Go back to the light, hopefully. going to be quick, isn't it? So you can see you can get a lot of damage up here based on distance. As long as you've got the range. And I just picked up a range up that floor. Everything works out. Where are you, friend? 23 damage? Like, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'll hit this up. No thanks. And I already have Spectral Tears, so I'll hit up Gimpy. When I get hit, there's a chance I drop a Soul Heart or Black Heart. When I kill an enemy, chance it drops a half Red Heart. For you, the Joker. Just gonna use it. Not a big deal. 1.5 damage up, 0.3 tiers down, larger tiers that now pierce enemies. Great pickup. And now we just need to hunt down the boss. I'm on it. Okay, this is just F's one. Right, it gives me a soul heart and makes it so that I will fight a horseman if possible on this floor. Uh, what, what do I have? Oh, two soul hearts right here. I was like, I picked something up that I wanted, didn't I? Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, I don't really need nickels. Chance at nickels there. Not really very useful. I only care about lucky pennies right now. No problem. Get to do quite a lot of damage here. And look, I fight a horseman. Believe it or not. Gets me a ball of bandages, blocks tears. Seven contact damage to enemies, doubled, so 14 contact damage to enemies and is generally very good. So clearly the game knows that I'm just taking everything and it's decided now it's a good time to cut him some slack, which is the opposite of what I expected. Oh, I thought the door down was here, not in the secret room. I'll check the secret room first then.
Oh, also the uh, spider for spider mod gives random status effects when it hits enemies. It comes into contact with enemies, that is. Okay, so I'm gonna keep mom's box again. Interestingly. That gives me a random trinket on use, so every four rooms, and if possible, it will double the effect of the trinket that I'm holding. This is the second use of my use item. Full free. I don't have a good place to use that, and that, I'm not going to use it. I don't need anything from it. I just do it because it's funny to people. There's the quad room, though, so maybe this is my chance. Actually, you can only use one per uh, quad room because a thing where poop has been is an occupied space. Sadly. Or luckily for me, either way. Okay, I'll do this just to get the charge. Goathead guarantees every devil room shows up and stays open for me awesome. Okay, and where are you? Nothing I want. So, you know, I'll shoot these for you. But really, no reason to. It's not offering me a particularly distinct advantage. one of those things that I think is only worth doing if you're particularly desperate. Or just, you know, really like shooting poop. Fortunately, like I said, this room I'll only get to do it once. So this significantly increases the chance I get drops from poops, but I think that it's broken with the box, or I thought it was, but apparently I'm getting stuff just fine. One time I got literally nothing from any poop when I was holding it. And I thought that was because of the box, but either that's fixed, but they haven't patched it, so... I don't know, but either that's fixed or that was just a stroke of absolutely unprecedented, incredibly bad luck, which is also acceptable. So now I'll go take the other one, and we'll be on our way. I just pick up pennies because they could be lucky, not because I need them. And I didn't care about my trinket, so that's not a big deal. I don't need to worry about picking it back up. Okay, so blank rune. Random effect and chance to spawn another blank rune, which is cool. Full map. Oh, I hadn't been to the item room yet. Go figure. Okay, so invincibility and full map. Full map's like really useful. Get out of jail free card lets me fight Mega Satan, which is why I want to keep that. I'm just going to take a full map with me. Sorry for those that really like me shooting all those poops. But I guess now is the time to go find the item room. And see what we get. Got two choices here. Doesn't really matter, so. Peeper bounces around, does eight, so 16 damage to enemies on contact, and also blocks tears that hit it. Bounces around diagonally, of course. And nothing. Oh, those are both. Troll bombs, what a guy. And we're still home in time for boss rush. Polaroid and two items I don't particularly want. Great. Dead cat. Sets me to one red heart and gives me nine respawns at one red heart. And betrayal, which, you know, I really didn't want at all. Never want. When I get hit, that animation shows all the enemies in the room are charmed. Which, you know, that, that should be good, except that it's not. 
No, it is good. It's just screw that animation and having to watch it every time I get hit. I like to get hit, thank you. Far more convenient and helpful than not getting hit a lot of the time. Or at least it's not risky enough for it to be worth avoiding. So the miter makes it so that non-specific heart drops are very likely to be soul heart drops, which is great. Solid pickup. Hopefully we'll find some good use for it throughout the rest of this uh, adventure. And I just get a bunch of chances to use my active item here, which means I get a bunch of chances to get Cancer, Curved Horn, really just Cancer though. Cancer is the trinket that I care most about because it's pretty much the best trinket in the game. So that's the dream. Luck up. That's also part of the dream. So Lucky Foot uh, makes... Oh, I got him too. Gives me one luck up and makes it possible to get an extra drop from chests. I don't know if it's a doubleable effect. I would assume not, honestly. But maybe the luck up doubles. I don't know. Oh cool, the Blackheart animation overrides, and they don't both play. Kind of expected the game to be a jerk about that. So no reason to pick up the dime. Just care about pennies at this point in the game. got like pin or that guy but that's fine God's flesh chance I shoot a blue tier said blue tier does uh, it shrinks enemies and sh enemies that have been shrunk can be walked on to kill them I don't like to do that I don't think it's particularly worthwhile it's a risk since they might depending on when you get there they might be about to get back to normal size, or they might be an enemy that spawns something or shoots tears out, but you know which ones those are. Still, it might be one of those that spawns something. Either way, you can get hit instantly after doing so, and it's not entirely worth it. Oh, beggar, though. That's an item. All right. So be it. I'll just full map this floor and figure my life out in the next uh, couple. Extra items, though, I gotta. This is fine. Double my money unnecessarily. That's fine, I can just use this one. Alright, pick that up because it can show up in the item rooms, which means the chest. Is it luck? And boss time. That's unfortunate, but I am stuck with it. Alright, so, we'll, you know, take both of these. Use it, which, in fact, gets me another trinket. And then this, which is useless. So Super Bandage gave me one red heart, two soul hearts. Oh, I don't even include use items. Oh well, I did it anyway. It's fine. It's fine. And Lord of the Pit. Flight, and if I get a speed modifier after the fact, it gives me 0.3 speed up. But that's not too necessary either now, is it? I'm doing quite all right, if you ask me. That's fine. I got the health back. Time to go this way, I guess. Nope, not this way. 0.15 speed up. That, I would assume, gets doubled. 
Oh, it's just a dime. I don't need that. <laughs> just a dime. I don't need that, this guy. I mean, it's true, but... You know. Let's see what's in here. Okay, nothing that I need. Great. Hey, you're dead. Really don't need the bombs either. I don't need much right now. Huh. The sack does count as a chest for opening it and getting uh, the waves to spawn. Ooh, that was close. That decided to blow up at a less opportune moment. I'd have been hit. Okay, well, I don't need any of these. Okay, away we go. Ah, didn't quite get it. Okay, invincibility, carry me. Thanks. Guaranteed double runes. Got the health. If I have one red heart or less, I'm not fighting Hush this time. If I have one red heart or less, any number of soul hearts, I get 1.5 damage up and 0.3 speed up. Good stuff. Except that I'm pretty much dead right now, so I guess I should probably try to dodge so I don't get the activation from the dead cat. While wow, the miter saves me from myself. And that'll be the goal. I don't even know if the drop pool... Well, no, it had to have been, because it's just any old coin drop. It can be replaced with the lucky penny, I guess. I was going to say, I don't know if the drop pool for the... coin bag thing, sack of pennies, had been modified to include lucky pennies, but I don't think that that's a concern at all. Because I think it just gives you a general coin drop, and general coin drops are the ones that can be replaced. I'm assuming here. So I got one soul heart. Still, we did a lot of damage there in not a lot of time. Didn't get hit, because I played it as careful as I could for once. And apparently my hitbox is a little larger than I gave it credit for. So now we're a half-heart hero again. This is fine, however. As it should be, like, totally okay. I should be able to do this. Oh, gross. Never mind. Fruitcake might kill me. Too much. So this drops regular pickups when it feels like it. This gives me random tier effects on each shot. Or every couple of shots, or you know, when it feels like it. Either way, uh, some of them can damage me, which sounds less than ideal, to me at least. Sometimes I can also get Godhead. Pretty neat. Okay. Don't need that. I... Yeah, sure, Blackheart chance. That shouldn't actually help me at all, though. Unfortunately. What just... Oh, I guess one of my tears blew up or something. Or there's a bomb and I just didn't realize it. Either way, there goes the health that I picked up. Probably not going to use this teleport. Oh, good. Tiny planet. Tears will do this now. That was a lot of money. I don't really know why. I must have had... Can you get a coin tier from that item? I guess so. Strange as that might seem. Oh, that totally should have hit me. That was pretty lucky. Not to get hit there. This isn't the right direction. What, mate? Justice. 
Oh boy, when I get hit, I spawn six troll bombs about the room. But bombs that hit me do not activate this effect, so it doesn't activate itself and chain you to death like it used to. That was a fun time when it did that. But, you know. Double my bombs. Totally necessarily. By the way, this is so much more dangerous because of Tiny Planet as well. It's the best part. Okay, you can have all the money you want. Up to 990. Alright, well, it's certainly taking a good amount. Oh, we'll probably get a luck up for donating enough to this. Which is nice. Dang. Machine is hungry. Cool with that, though. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. That's what I need. Continuum on all of my tiers, so my tiers can now screen wrap. Cool. Oh, that should have totally killed me. However, I got two black hearts out of this, which is nice. Means maybe I can survive for like two more seconds than I was going to before. Little haunt. Attack stuff, chance to fear. This is a little bit of a mess. Alright, I'm fine. I was gonna say, I hope I can get that black heart. Oh, that tier was still there? How unfortunate. I'm gonna teleport away. Alright, let's go fight Mega Satan. See if we die. Nine times. That'd be unfortunate now, wouldn't it? Do I even have, like, a useful trinket that I could take in here? A useful item? Monster manual, save me! Gives me a random familiar. What's the worst that could happen? Did I, did I get able, or did I already have... Oh, I got a third level freaking bandage girl, that's huge! She's pretty strong. She gets in there. Clearly this is kind of massacring the entire fight. Sorry, Mega Satan fight. Didn't mean to be so inconsiderate. It's a hundred damage or something. That's like ridiculous. That's so much damage. Okay, I'm just gonna accept the hit here. Not like anything's gonna really mess my day up at this point. Well, that was ridiculous. So that's like two for two going really way too well. Strange, but acceptable. So you know, that was that. I once again hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.